Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, this one's going to be a pretty easy one. Uh, we're just going to be adding a sprinting system. And we're going to add the ability to crouch and uncrouch. And if you're sprinting and you crouch, it'll automatically change your walk speed. So you're not sprinting and stuff while crouching. And uh, yeah, should be easy, should be quick. So let's hop into it. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I actually want to check something on our light that we did yesterday. Um, something I think we forgot to do, which we indeed did. So whenever we turn off the lights, we want to uh, grab this, our flicker timer handle. We want to clear and invalidate that so it's not always running. You turn off the light. And yeah, just a quick little fix right there. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our sprint and our crouch. So the first thing we're going to do is we, we're going to go to the first person folder. We're going to go to our inputs, actions, and I'm going to duplicate the interact here. And I'm going to make one called input action sprint. Then I'm going to duplicate that guy. And I'm going to make one called input action crouch. And we'll just save that, go back to our input folder here, go to our IMC default. Uh, take the mappings here, we're going to add one. First one's going to be our crouch, since it's right there. I'm going to make mine the C key. Uh, another common one is the left control. Uh, I'm just going to do C. And we're going to add another mapping here, and this is going to be our input action sprint. I'm going to make this the uh left shift so we're just going to save that close it and we're going to go to our first person folder blueprint first person character and we're just going to set this up so um uh, i'm going to comment this guy real quick this is our interact i'm going to comment that guy just leave that there all right so let me bring up my notes because i know there's a few variables i made so we're going to need a variable for is sprinting and is crouching. So let's make those. They're both going to be Boolean. First, first one is is sprinting. And the next one is is crouching. So those are the only two we need. And uh, for character movement, we're going to go here. We're going to set our max walk speed by default to 250. That's what I'm going to set it to. You can play with the values and make it whatever you want, but this will be like the standard walk speed. I'm also going to turn off that flicker. Uh, no flicker right now. So that, uh, yeah, this will be the walk speed. I think it's a decent little walk speed for a horror game. So that's what that will be. And then we're going to right click and we're going to look for sprint or input action sprint yeah right here input action sprint and first thing we want to do is we want to check if we're crouching because if we're crouching we don't want to be able to sprint so we're going to grab a branch press b on your keyboard and click hook this to the started here and we're going to hook our is crouching to the condition and if we're not crouching we just want to set our max walk speed so pull in your character movement here and before we do anything here, we're going to do a flip-flop. You can press F on your keyboard and click. Or oh, actually, no, that's a 4 each loop. Just search for flip-flop. Um, and we're going to plug that into the false there. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set max walk speed. We're going to set max walk speed to... My sprint speed, I'm going to set it to 450. I think that feels pretty good. I'm just going to duplicate this, just highlight that, control C, control V. And um, actually, we're not going to flip flop. We're going to hook this to the completed. Forget about that. You can do a flip flop if you want, but the way this will work is, is you'll click it once and then you'll start sprinting and then you'll have to click it again to stop sprinting. Um, if you do it on started and completed, you'll just hold it and sprint and then when you release you'll stop sprinting. I'm going to do it that way. Uh, you can do it the other way if you want to. But yeah, this way you have to hold the shift key while you're sprinting. And 
this max walk speed right here, we're going to set it to 250 or whatever you set your standard walk speed to. And we can test that out real quick. So we're walking, we press shift, we sprint, and we uh, let go. We stop sprint sprinting. And the last thing we want to do here is we're just going to add this boolean. We're going to set our is sprinting. I'm going to set this guy to be true here. And I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm going to set that to be false right here. And that should be it. Yep. That's all we need for our sprint. So that one is done. I'm just going to highlight this guy. Comment it. And we'll just call this sprint. So I'm going to move that guy there. And next is going to be our crouch. Which is going to be a little bit more work. But it's still fairly easy. So, what we're going to do here is this is where we want to flip flop. So, we're going to look for our crouch input action. So, just look for crouch. Uh, we're going to get our input action here. Crouch. Take that guy down. And now we're going to get the flip flop. And we're going to hook this guy to the started. And then the next thing we want to do is we're going to set crouch and we're going to set uncrouch. So, we're just going to look for a crouch. Uh, this function right here, we're going to crouch into the A. And then we're going to uncrouch into the B. And then the next thing we need is a timeline. We're going to have two different timelines for um, so we can smoothly go into the crouch and smoothly come out of the crouch. So... We're going to look for timeline. We're going to name this crouch timeline. And we're going to hook our play from start into the crouch right here. I'm just going to pull this guy down a bit. And we're going to open this guy up. I'm going to set the length to 0.5. You can set it to whatever you want. But this will be how long it takes for you to crouch. And I'm going to add a float track here. This is going to be our half height. And so the way this works is if you want to crouch, we're going to grab our uh, capsule component and we're going to set half height. So that's why we're naming that half height because we're changing the half height of the capsule whenever we crouch and uncrouch. So we're just going to plug this guy into updated. And you can go ahead and plug your half height in here, but we're going to go back into the timeline here. And we're going to shift click and we're going to set the time to zero and the value this is going to come from our default half height so if you click on this our default half height uh capsule half height is a uh, 96. so we're going to set the value of this to 96. And then we're going to shift click again we're going to set the time to 0.5 and the value is going to be half of what 96 is which i believe was let me double check real quick 96 divided by 2 is 48 so this value here we're going to set to 48 i'm going to take these little guys right here and i'm going to highlight both of these and set it to auto so it's a little bit smoother then we go back into the event graph and we're also going to set our is crouching at the end here to true and we could test that real quick just so you could see we can crouch but we can't come out of it yet it'll just bug out so now we just need to set our uncrouch so we're going to duplicate all of this at the end here and we're going to play from start right here play from start there we go and i'm going to rename this timeline to uncrouch timeline and i'm gonna open this guy up and we're just gonna flip these two values here so on this first one here the value is gonna be um what was it 48 is that what it was yes 48 and take this and we're gonna get this guy at the end and we're just gonna make that one 96 and just hit these guys and that should be good 
Anyway, then we just want to set our is crouching to false right there or to the end right there. Something else we're going to do for when we do crouch is we want to set our max walk speed immediately to 250 and set our is sprinting to false as well. So I'm just going to copy uh, this right here for when we stop sprinting and add this to the end of our crouch. So that way, whenever we start to crouch, we immediately stop to sprint if we were sprinting and we set that we are no longer sprinting just in case you crouch while you're sprinting. So, let's test all of that real quick. So, if we crouch, looks good. If we uncrouch, it works. If we sprint, the sprinting works. And if we crouch, it immediately sets us to not be sprinting. And if we try to sprint now, it doesn't work. If we uncrouch, we can sprint again. And, yeah. And that's kind of all there is to it. Like I said, this was a quick and easy one. So, we're going to call it here for this one. And the next one, I'm debating either we're going to add a stamina or we're going to do head bob. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you would rather see. But uh, we're going to call it here for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions let me know those down in the comments if you have any suggestions for any other videos let me know those down in the comments if you would like to support the channel we do have memberships and um yeah i'll see you in the next one peace